Hello all, welcome to Odobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Um, today we are going to learn how we can use the runner cache to uh, move the artifacts from your child jobs to parent. Okay, so in the last two videos we have seen like how we can implement parallel metrics. Then uh, we discussed about the child uh, pipelines and uh, we had a, a video for integrating both parallel metrics along with the child pipeline and today we are going to see how you can promote your artifacts from child jobs to parent jobs okay so if you are implementing the parallel metrics or a child pipeline okay so i will show you how you can easily use the cache mechanism in the render to uh, make it a feasible okay so uh, i'm going to use the same code uh, like uh, which uh, we have used in the last video for the um, uh, child pipeline plus parallel metrics integration and uh, uh, we have observed like uh, we had uh, two jobs uh, inside the child pipeline and uh, uh, just consider if it is a test execution and a published report okay so my requirement is uh, i need to promote these artifacts like uh, e each of these test job is going to create a particular uh, report i need to consolidate this and i need to publish it as a um, separate job in the parent pipeline okay so that is my requirement so what i'm going to do is let me move this particular job from here and i'm going to keep it here okay that is first task then i will show you like how we can implement the cache mechanism okay um, so for that what i'm going to do is okay here we have this step right then what i'm going to do is let me echo just consider this is my artifact what i'm going to create um so i'm just going to write these two details to a text file okay to text file i'm going to uh, write and i'm keeping that as an artifact okay. report slash maybe um dollar mm, this particular one okay dot txt so what will happen is like this particular details will be getting added to uh, a method dot txt file okay so next question can be like uh, where is this report folder right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder mkdir uh, hyphen p and uh, reports okay okay so that part is done so currently we have um, we, we have created an uh, report folder then we are echoing this thing then uh, we are echoing this uh, particular data browser name and method to a text file okay and that also will be generating in the report folder so um, let us see how we can implement the cache okay so for that we have the keyword called a cache okay then we have to set a key and this key should be unique okay either um, you can use your ci pipeline id or you can just create a uh, static value something uh, like a cache hyphen test okay then what is next thing uh, we have to set the path like what is the path uh, that uh, we need to keep in the cache okay so that is reports folder so all the reports is going to generate in the reports folder right so i need to keep a cache of a reports folder okay then uh, if you need to set the policy you can set the policy uh, for that what you can do is you can uh, use uh, policy and uh, there are multiple policy like pull is there push is there and pull and push is there so the purpose is pull means like it will just pull the cache uh, existing cache and push means it will be pushing the artifacts to the existing cache and pull and push means the particular job will be doing both okay by default as per my understanding it is a pull and push um, um but anyway i'm just going to declare this policy here okay and when this cache need to be captured it should be always right um and uh, in order to show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach this artifact as well like whatever artifact is going to generate i'm going to keep that artifact as well <clears throat> okay artifacts okay then what we have to do we have to declare the pass okay it should be reports okay then uh, when it should be always it should always attach the artifact okay so now the de cache declaration part is completed okay um, now what we have to do we need to get this cache available in uh, the published report as well correct so what i'm going to do is um, let me go here let me declare the cache here also okay so cache or directly i can copy from here 
okay that i can copy these details from here okay so the same cache i'm going to use here okay uh, the name is a cache tester then reports folder and policy i'm keeping it like pull and push okay and when always uh, then artifact also i'm going to keep artifacts okay what should be the artifact um then always okay artifact the path should be or reports okay it's same like a, a test pipeline but the interesting thing is uh, this is a child job so each artifact will be uh, each artifact will be having only one file okay but in this published uh, report it will be having all the consolidated uh, reports okay so let us see how it is going to work because uh, uh, currently i haven't added any resource group so all these jobs are going to execute in parallel okay so we are going to see whether the cache will work properly in this case okay so let me first push it mm, updated the cache okay or another best option is like instead of only creating a reports folder you can create one more folder with the maybe browser name okay so it will be a unique folder right then after that um at the end you can attach the report folder so it will be having all the um folders plus subfolders and the dot txt file okay and at the end you can attach the report folder that is also another uh, uh, possibility so what i'm going to do is um, okay i have already pushed it so let me go to pipeline yeah here you can see it has already triggered we'll see how the cache is going to work okay here we can see there is a new job added in the parent pipeline that is published report and inside a test execution we have only one job now that is a text execution job so let it complete okay or another solution what is suggested is like you can create a, a folder here itself uh, maybe by this particular name okay and uh, this report also will be something like this okay then after that you are going to attach the reports uh, folder okay we'll uh, I, I will show you like how that also going to work out maybe let me commit here itself um added a new folder okay here we can see all the um, steps are completed and let me go to publish report first okay we can see an uh, artifact attached let me go here browse reports okay so total four jobs are there and here we are able to see all the four reports okay here we are able to see all the four reports uh, this is how cache is going to work out like it's very easy like uh, you can directly um, use cache so how it is going to work is like uh, uh, our runners will be having a cache uh, cache volume so it is going to keep your artifact in that particular cache and the same runner is going to execute in the publish uh, report job means it can access that cache and generate the report for you okay so let me go here and i will show uh, let me go to test execution here only one artifact will be the reports oh here also it has attached because it means uh, uh, already it is having existing uh, report is there it is attaching the same thing okay so let me go back let me check what is the pipeline that has executed yeah this one just executed uh, let me go to publish report okay let me go to browse here we can see seven or uh, nine matching artifact so reports folder and inside that uh, we will be able to see uh, different browser uh, folders as created and uh, inside that 
we can see the text file okay sanity is there and uh, again um, firefox and the smock.txt is there but in our uh, use case we have a uh, more number of uh, um, jobs are there right for example let me go here okay in our case we have four metrics is there and the first one is having chrome and sanity and next one is having edge gender regression next is having safari and pen and the last one is having firefox and smoke but in the artifact it has generated only chrome and firefox so what i'm going to do is let me create a resource group and see whether it is working as expected okay so let me go here and uh, let me first clear all the cache clear our runner cache okay and in test execution I'm going to uh, set a resource group. Okay, so it will be resource underscore group. Then what should be the resource underscore group? It should be test execution. Okay, so this is how we need to uh, configure this. So if you set it, then what will happen? Like uh, it will uh, directly understand this is um, uh, the particular. Uh, job is added like a uh, resource group okay so only one uh, child job will be executing at a at a time okay so let me save it let me publish okay i have pushed the changes let me go here So in our recent execution, what has happened? All the jobs is executed uh, um, in parallel, right? So now uh, by implementing this resource group, what will happen? It will uh, sequence the um, jobs that are running in the parallel matrix. Okay, so let me go here. Okay, and uh, let me check here. Yeah, here you can see total uh, four jobs are there and out of that only one job is executing and remaining is uh, in post status okay so let me go here and uh, we can see it is waiting for a resource this particular job is waiting for a resource so what is the resource resource is nothing but the particular job name okay so now it is running in a sequential way so once it is completed we'll check the artifact again and we'll see how the reports has generated now So let it complete okay so two jobs has completed so let me go inside this one test execution we can see the artifact has generated browse reports okay it is having edge and firefox because the previous job has already completed so reports folder is having both these uh, files okay so let me go back and see which is the last execution and we let this one complete okay test execution if i go here we'll be able to see three folders okay it should show three folders reports folder okay we can see uh three folders as created and if we go inside each there will be a dot txt file generated okay so let me go back now our main aim is like we need to um, promote the artifact from a child job or the parallel matrix jobs to this published report right so let me refresh this okay now published report is executing so we'll let it execute so it will uh, get the cache and uh, it will uh, publish the report for us 
Okay, so currently as per the documentation of GitLab, uh, we are not able to find any uh, proper documentation for um, promoting the artifact from any downstream jobs to the upstream okay so one good method for uh, utilizing that is uh, this cache mechanism okay but one thing what we have to keep in mind is like uh, parallelly if you are going to execute all these jobs in child metrics sometimes it will override the report and we won't be getting a proper report okay so uh, one possible method is like uh, we can execute it in sequential using resource group then we will be getting all the uh, reports generated and it will be properly passed to the upstream jobs okay so i hope you got a clear understanding about like how you can uh, use a cache mechanism to promote the jobs from one job to another if there is any doubts related to this cache mechanism in gitlab please do comment in the comment section okay i hope you got a clear understanding and this video was helpful okay so thanks for watching the video bye